Howdy fellas, how's it going? I've uh, been getting a few requests for James Harden, so I wanted to try to challenge myself to make that. Um, I have before, but uh, not in 2K22, and I just thought it'd be interesting. So a little bit about the build. Um, one of the main things that I noticed, and that you're probably going to notice if you use these tendencies, is um, I kept fooling around with his layup. Um, I made his layup really low, and then I made his uh, Euro step very high just to try to get him to do it. He still doesn't even like to do it, which is interesting. Um, he also does a lot of cradle layups, which the the same control for that is almost identical to the Euro step control. So, and there is no uh, cradle layup tendency. So, I wanted to put Euro step tendency really high to account for the fact of his regular layups. I'm pretty sure that it's the layup pack that he has. I don't think the James Harden layup pack actually triggers him to do Euro steps often. It's kind of the same thing with Luka Doncic's step back. Um, he just doesn't really like to use it. There's no real reason why, it's just something in the coding. So if you change his layup and he's doing Euro steps all the time, I'd probably recommend uh, you raising his driving layup to probably 45 and then probably giving him uh, a floater of 25 or 30, um, just to give him a good mix. Harden does do floaters. Um, and I did want to implement that, but I would rather um, somebody watch one game with these tendencies and have him uh, play more uh, similar to Harden than if he happened to do like three or four floaters in that game. You might say, well, he did three or four floaters, didn't do one cradle or a Euro step layup. I don't really feel like this is Harden. Um, so I just wanted to have that effect. So anyway, uh, as always, leave a like, let me know who you want next, and I'll see you in the next one.